So a leader's voice takes up space, online or offline, because this has been the struggle that a lot of my clients have. And some of my clients, they came to me, they said, oh, uh, I think I have a very soft voice. And I realized it's, it's not a soft voice. And this has been mistaken for a lot of, by a lot of people. If people ask you to repeat, to speak up, it may not be that you have a soft voice. The problem might be this. So I'm going to demonstrate the voice and you see what the problem is and feel free to type the result, uh, the observation in the chat. This is what a lot of my clients are uh, speaking. Uh, so they're speaking this way and thought that they have a very soft voice. And uh, what do you think that the problem for this voice? Feel free to type into the chat. And let's see that early in the morning. <laughs> How is it? Like you're listening. Okay, thank you, dear. It's uh, monotone. Okay, uh, anything else? Okay, monotone, Klaus. Uh, low in energy. Uh, okay. Not firm. Uh, okay. And uh, these are all correct, but these are all results, the results. Of course, that for leaders, we pay attention to results. And uh, what created this results is something you want to know that for a leadership voice, the secret to a leadership voice is in the air. The secret to so a leadership voice is in the air, uh, not the air we're breathing in and out, the air in your body, which is breath. So if you want to have a leadership voice, you must start to observe the breath. Observe not only just whether you're breathing properly, but also how much breath you use, how less breath you use, or even if you are using the breath at all. So for this voice I just demonstrated, the problem is it may have happened to you as well, is that you take a breath in, but you're not using the breath. When you're not using the breath, this is how you sound. And when you're holding your breath and speak, it sounds like that you have a soft voice. And also it sounds that monotone, low energy, not firm. Most importantly, after a while, you will start to feel breathless. So if you want to improve your voice, the very first thing is to record your voice so that you know how you sound to others. I know no one likes to hear their recorded voice. <laughs> Guess what? If you are not listening to your own voice, people around you have been suffering. So you must make sure that to know how much they're suffering and listen to your recorded voice. And to have a voice that takes up space, you must make sure that when you're speaking, you need to let the breath come up. 